Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at Shots.so. This is an online free tool that can help you create mockups with nice frames for your applications or for your so social media. So this is uh, Shots.so, it's free, it's currently in, in beta. And this is the interface in the left side in here you have the options and in the right side you have some other options that you can choose from. So this is the default uh, image if you click here you can add your screenshot so for instance i have a screenshot here with my blog that i'm adding it you see here that you can modify it and you can change the layout of this as you as you like you see that you have multiple options that you can choose from so let's let's choose this one for instance and in here you have other options like to style it you see that you have the default tone we have the stack that will add these things in, in here. We have the retro that will add the retro in here. Border, glass, and yeah, things go on. Go on. You can change the border, the carved options, shadow options. In here you have the options where to have this. For instance, you can change it like this if you want. You can also change it from here if you want like this like this okay these are the first things in here you have have some options to add some uh, mockups to it for instance you have the browser mockup that you can add you see in here you you have the 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 browser mockup that was added in in here you can choose from the style you can put the dark you can put a safari chrome chrome dark you can change the shadow if you want of this thing you see it in, in here. Scale and positions to increase this. Other mockups that you have in this, you have the iPhone, for instance. You see here that I can put the iPhone. If I want iPhone application, you can put including multiple things in here. If you if you want, you see that you can choose and you can add future images for this. If you have an application, you have mockups for uh, different types of iPhones. You have like for iPad Pro. If you have an iPad Pro application, Webbook Air, Pro, iMac, you can choose from. If you have a watch application, you can add this mockup. And also you have some default things like default phone or a simple desktop. Okay, so these are the mockups that you can you can choose choose from. The other things that you can you can do it here. You have some frames. And in the frames part, you have like the sizes for this. So you can choose from multiple sizes. For instance, if you, let's say if you have a video, you can put something like this to help you with your thumbnail. You have the thumbnail, you have the, the socials to create various thumbnails. You see this one, it's uh, for uh, reels or things, things like that. You have the Instagram for stories. You have for Twitter, for instance, that you can create one. The river Pinterest. Let me choose this one for now. You see here we have some options to fine grain this if you want to change the desktop. You can add an image if you want for the frame. You can change the color. In here you can, uh, for instance, you can add colors. You can add gradients if you want for this. You have some desktop backgrounds that you can play around with and change them with tinge gradients that you can choose. So here yeah, you have a lot of options in here that you can use and customize your uh, image. And uh, right now this tool is free, it's in beta. I like I like it a lot because it's uh, offering you the possibility to create some unique designs that are not that boring. If you, for instance, have an application where you want to create some nice thumbnails for social media and things like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have a tool that you, you're using, please drop a comment and let us know so I can add it in case it's nice.